So Jess and I had just gotten back from a trip up in Banff in Alberta, Canada. And it was a family trip. We were taking her parents up there for their birthdays this year, and it was all of our first times there. And since it was a family trip, I didn't want to be turning the camera on myself, narrating the whole thing the whole time. But nonetheless, I did record a bunch of footage, so I did want to put a post up recapping all of the things that we did while we were there. <laughs> After a first day of a lot of travel, since we did have a connecting flight get cancelled and rescheduled on us, we arrived pretty late in Calgary the first night, so all we really did was pick up our rental car, which was this huge GMC Yukon Denali XL, which I found on Turo. But we ended up spending the first day in Calgary, since that's where we had landed. Uh, we stayed at a hotel that was pretty close by to the airport, and we started off the first day going to Prince Island Park, which is really close to downtown Calgary. And it's this really nice, peaceful park, which is pretty friendly for bike riders and runners. They had a lot of open walking paths, and we just had a pretty good time walking around there for the day. <music> After that, we decided to go into downtown Calgary where we looked for some Korean food and we ended up eating at this place called Stone Bowl. Uh, and it was pretty good. But after that, we ended up just walking around uh, downtown and we ended up stopping by an H Mart to stock up on food for our Airbnb before we eventually made the drive up to BAM. <music> We finally arrived up in a town called Canmore, and that's where our Airbnb was for the entire stay. Now Canmore is a small town that is just outside of Banff, it's still about a 20 minute drive if you wanted to go into uh, the town of Banff proper, uh, but it's a really nice little town, they've got a bunch of supermarkets and stores there, so you don't really need to go too far to get any amenities if you are planning to cook or do that kind of stuff at your Airbnb. They also had this great balcony there, which had great views of the mountains on the left and the right, which is where I ended up spending a lot of the evenings just hanging out. On our second day up in Banff, we decided to do the drive up to Lake Louise, which is about an hour out of where we're staying in Canmore. We had originally wanted to go to Lake Moran, which is pretty close to where Lake Louise is, and it's a little less traveled, less tourist, but they've also got a much smaller parking lot. Uh, we had tried to aim to get there at around 4.30 a.m., but we got there a little bit later than that, around 4.50 to 5 a.m., and by that time, it was already too late. They had already closed out the parking lot, so we decided to just go straight to Lake Louise. Thank you. 
After we took a bunch of photos around the lake, we decided to line up for the canoe rentals. So the canoe rentals don't normally open up until 8.30. We got in line at about 7.30. And uh, there were quite a few people uh, that were lined up, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, the thing was that the temperature was a lot lower than I had at least planned for. So as I was waiting in line, I could feel my fingertips freezing. So if I were to do that again, I would probably bring some thicker clothes. Uh, but we eventually uh, got our canoes. Since there were six of us, we got two of them. The canoes were able to fit three apiece and we set out onto the water. <music> After canoeing, we ended up driving back to the main town of Banff. And as we were driving through town, we noticed that they were having a farmer's market in one of the parking lots over there. So we decided to stop by, take a look around, and Jess and I ended up buying a little stone art piece. And I'll show you what that looks like here. Uh, but it came from a local artist there who collects a bunch of stones and does some of these stone types of paintings on it and we thought this just looked really cool. But after that we ended up going back to our Airbnb and we decided to walk over to the supermarkets and they did have a grill on our balcony so I decided it would be cool to buy some short ribs and some pork belly and do some barbecuing. And since the sunset's pretty late out there. I was pretty much out there on the balcony uh, barbecuing until about 10 p.m. and the sun was still out and it was just really cool being surrounded by all of those mountains and, and cooking dinner. On our third day we decided to fully explore the town of Banff. So we drove back into Banff and we were just walking up and down the stores. We did some souvenir shopping and we decided to end up going to a Vietnamese restaurant to get some food. And we basically were just walking around until we decided to go to the Bow Falls Trail. So there is a trail just outside of town across one of the bridges where you could walk along the Bow River uh, and eventually make it over to the Bow Falls. <music> day in Banff we had a flight that was leaving much later at about 1 a.m. Uh, that night so we still sort of had a full day before we had to eventually drive back to Calgary at about 7 p.m. so Jess and I had decided to rent some bikes in Canmore and do the bike ride from Canmore to Banff as I said it was about a 20 minute car ride so on bikes it would take you about an hour if you were kind of just taking your time and also taking in the sights so uh, we decided to rent some bikes I ended up getting a regular road bike and Jess got an electric bike since it was a pretty decent bike ride I think when I looked it up it was about 29 kilometers one way and we decided to do that bike ride and it was just beautiful. I'll basically let the footage do the speaking for itself. Every day. 
once we got into the town of Banff again, we decided to go to this restaurant, which was called Three Bears, which was a brewery. Got their flight of beers, which was pretty good, and we also ordered their Poke Bowl, which also was pretty damn good. On our way out of Banff, we decided to stop by a place called the Cascade Ponds, and as we were biking through the path up to the ponds, it was just this beautiful sight. So that was pretty much it. I know it was a short trip. We were only there for about three days and we did a lot of stuff that we were able to take our parents to that wasn't too rigorous, but Jess and I definitely took a lot of notes of different hikes and things that we would want to do next time we go back. But I hope you enjoyed this video. This was pretty much a recap of all the things that we did in Banff.